All right, finally back on this. I've had a couple of days of uh, busy work and uh, finally back on the, the big guy here. I'm going to work on his tail and um, inside his leg here, it's hollow there because I tore that apart. And uh, got some work on the uh, body itself, but pretty much do it other than just doing more texturing here. And I mean by that, uh, what I'm doing right there, uh, pretty much done. And uh, don't think I'm going to put a lot of detail in this. I think I'll work on the base a little bit because I got to upgrade this base a little, uh, get it up from a lump of clay to uh, something that's a little more interesting. So let's get started. Time to play with some clay. Sometimes your best sculpting tool are your fingernails. That uh, first video, I mean, that first video of me sculpting in the gallery that I posted yesterday, that was the brown clay I was using on this piece. That's how far back that clay goes. And that's why it is so hard to work right now, because it's probably a good 10 years old. So, anyway, I've just got to cut into this because there is some muscle definition there according to this photograph I've got and I'm running into uh, the armature right there so it's a little close to the uh, surface but I'll work out that I'm still dealing with the old clay it's not easy, but I'll do it. There's a certain muscle structure <coughs> to uh, this animal. 
and I'm trying to get that. So I'm making the armature just a little close to the surface. What I'm going by is this photograph. You can see an indention there. That's what I've got right there. Uh, let's get the lights bright so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, a little bit of a bulge right there. That's what this is here. And that's because, and I have the drawing over here, but so I can't show you. But. Uh, that's a particular muscle that comes down in this direction. And so I just have to follow all these things. Now I, I notice a kind of a, not an indention, but a shallow area there. And uh, you have to learn to interpret photographs if you're working from reference materials. And uh, It's always fun to interpret what you see. I've still got to decide what kind of texture I'm going to have on the body of the buffalo because what I want to do is do this buffalo in a uh, rust patina uh, to give it a kind of a terracotta look. I like that look. And it would probably complement this piece because it would give it an earthy look to it, which I would like to have. I don't want it too out loud as far as texture goes, but I want the texture there. So I have to find a happy medium point.
All right, I've got this anatomy drawing, and it looks like I'm putting the dew claws way too high because it looks like it's right down near the uh, hoof. And uh, when I look at the uh, photograph, I can see that the dew claw is just above the uh, hoof. So I'm putting too much space between the bottom part of the uh, bone structure of the leg and the hoof. So I've got to change all that. Totally different than I thought it would be on the uh, structure of the uh, leg of the buffalo. All right, I'm going to have to take a break and uh, come back to this tomorrow. Um, the uh, hooves are important. Uh, I've got to get them right. I've got recently uh, some close-ups of the hooves from that uh, farm that, uh, or bison farm that uh, raises, raises bison, the uh, Cross Timber Bison Ranch. And uh, I have a buffalo rolling, I think it was Big Joe, rolling in uh, a... Uh, Oh, I can't remember what they called it. It's it's a dusty area that they roll in to uh, try to get rid of the flies and stuff off their body. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. It, but it was a great video because it showed the hooves uh, really in great detail. And I took a couple of uh, screenshots off of that. And uh, I'm going to go up and check that out and print, you know, kind of do some photo editing so I can make a print of those hoofs and I can use those for reference tomorrow. But I'm, I'm happy with what I've gotten done today. <coughs> I've uh, got the rear hoofs just about where I want them. It's the front ones I'm going to have trouble with. So I want to get those and I also want to check the uh, detail of the uh, back hoofs to make sure I'm not off on that. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.